Hello and welcome to the 32nd tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at functional arguments that are passed by reference. In the previous part we looked at functional arguments that are passed by value. By value when you pass in an argument it creates a local copy of you so any modification done to that actual argument aren't, uh, it, isn't, it doesn't actually affect the original value or variable. Whereas passing by reference you can think of it more as it's just passing an ID. So if you pass by reference and you modify within a function, then the original value is modified as well. So, but let's just show you exactly what we mean. The syntax is almost identical to passing by reference. There's literally one minor difference. First of all, let's just declare our function. We're just going to do void math function. And inside here, we're going to put the variables or the local variables I should say int number one int number two and this is how we would have done it before to pass by value but to pass by reference also there's one small difference you've got to put the ampersand here which is also called the and sign and this just basically states that this is a reference now and what we're going to do is number one uh, actually we're going to do std c out I don't know why I did capital C, did it last tutorial as well. We do number one, by number two, do a line. Then we're going to do number one equals eight. Then we're going to do int i, make it equal to 98, do int x makes it equal to 2 so if we pass both of these in the result will be 196 for what it should be based on my calculations and we're going to do math function and we're going to pass in i and x we're going to do std we're going to see out i STD and line. Now, if we run this, let's see what we get. We get 196 and 8, even though the value that we passed in was 98. So, if we just copy and paste this and just run it before we call the function as well, so you can see the original value is 98, then these two values are passed in, so they get multiplied and they just see how this is. So, I just put this line here for the sake of it, really. And because there's a, there's two arguments going on, for might as well just do something with both of them. And then number one is changed to the value of eight, or is assigned the value of eight, I should say. Therefore, i has the value of eight now. So passing by reference, any changes made to those local variables will affect the original variables, whereas passing by value will not. And you might think, well, why would you want to use one when or over the other? Well, pass by value is. Uh, Obviously, it's great when you want to pass in a piece of data and you want that to be, um, to want something to happen, maybe something alerted to the user or stored. But if, let's say, something were to accidentally affect that for some reason, because when you have huge projects, there's loads of programmers, you might get the odd uh, bug because somebody accidentally put a piece of code in that shouldn't be where it is. And if you do modify the variable in the function by by sending by value, then it won't matter, but passing by reference would. But there'll be certain instances where you do, and then in theory, you could just return that value. If you're doing a lot of function calls, that's a lot of processing power required. Therefore, passing by reference is useful as well. But again, it's something you've got to actually judge when the situation really arises. That's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at function parameter default values. All the required links for the source code will also be in the, in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.